hello i've been waiting so long to do this video i'm so happy i finally got time to sit down and film it say hello to my 10 year plus ghd and my 10 year plus cloud 9. about five or six years ago i did a video comparing the two after owning them for that amount of time and now we've crossed the 10 year mark i wanted to do another update because i do actively use both of these still but things have kind of changed up a little bit since that video so I wanted to give an update and I think quite good to know from the originals as to just what kind of lasts the test of time so let's just get straight into this. I will leave the model codes for both of these down below. I know they brought out originals for the GHDs, I don't know how long they last in comparison to the true originals but what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to straighten half of my hair with one and half of my hair with the other and we'll talk about how it looks, what does the better job after 10 years. Before we start, I'm just going to protect my hair. So the one that I use is the Just Smooth from Goldwell. I absolutely love this. It is incredible and it lasts a very long time and I can spray loads on my hair and it still lasts a very long time. <laughs> my hair was washed yesterday. I did not straighten or style it at all. I just put a product through it and left it to air dry. So I'm quite excited to actually straighten it today. <laughs> Let's talk about the GHD first. I just wanted to cover off what this is for anyone that has not used one before, isn't aware of the original. I can't speak for any newer options because this is the only one that I've ever owned. So the lifespan of a GHD is three to four years. I have owned this for 10 years plus. There is an LED in here and when that flash is red, it means that it's at the correct temperature. Now, one thing I did wanna make you aware of is that when hair straighteners are older, they might not be hitting that 185, they might not be as hot or they could be going hotter. So unless I had something to actually take the temperature of this, I can't actually tell you if this has varied in any way and I wish I could because it'd be really fun to kind of test the two to see if they still stay true to the temperatures that they're meant to be. But fortunately I can't, but I did want to be honest and make that note. They are ceramic plates. It is a round barrel, so you can curl your hair if you like to curl your hair with your straighteners. And also with that LED light, um, that'll go green when you have left it on for longer than 30 minutes. This will just automatically shut off, which I think is a brilliant feature. I have unfortunately had that kick in many times. and I didn't think I would need it, but very grateful that it is a feature. <laughs> the cord, I always think this is important because it's super frustrating when hair straighteners don't have a long cord, but it's 2.8 meters and also it is a swivel, which is super handy as well. So really basic things that I know a lot of hair straighteners have, but for those that don't have them, it is kind of annoying to miss out on that feature. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, and so for the Cloud 9, this has the on and off switch as well, which is nice and easy. It has the beep just like the GHD does, but with this one, it tells you the temperatures that you can select. So it starts off um, trying to heat up to 150, but you can go to 180 to, to 200. And when you look at the specifications, it does say it goes from 100 to 200, but then there's also the one at the top there, as you can see, it says high, which I can select as well. And based on the increments that it goes up with the other ones, 150 and it might be 220 but it doesn't actually specify that anywhere so I'm just going to tell you it everywhere it says 100 to 200 I'm not quite sure what the high would be but it's there and um, this also turns off after 30 minutes as well it goes to sleep it has a slightly longer cord at three meters it also has the round barrel design so these look so similar as you can see <laughs> both are the ceramic floating plates as well so this is also ceramic and weight wise they feel very very similar to keep this fair i will heat the ghd up to 185 or whatever's in between the 200 and the 150 just to keep it fair and this is obviously going to stick to its 185 if that's the temperature it still goes to so let's do the test i will part my hair on this side we'll do cloud nine and on this side we'll do ghd i'm so excited to test this i know which one i typically go for but i won't reveal that until i've done a side to side test on it um, just to see what it actually does on each side. I'm not going to do anything too different to how I would normally straighten my hair. I know when I last did this video, there was a lot of comments about how I was straightening my hair, but I'm not trying to show you how to straighten your hair. I'm just trying to show you how good the product currently is. So I'm just taking the bottom portion there. Um, I always get kinks there. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but let's just go ahead and straighten. Just grab my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Sorry. Go here. It definitely feels hot. When I use the Cloud 9s, I do feel like I need to do two passes. 
especially if there's a bit of a kink like that but coming towards the end of my hair maybe I'll push you back so you can see better it is nice and straight it just doesn't glide through my hair as much as when I first bought the hair straighteners but it's not unbearable and it doesn't grip to a point where I'm just like oh these are getting like a cheap feel to them or anything like that they still feel like they have got to the 185 it feels very much like 185 to me so yeah these definitely still perform very well for old hair straighteners definitely didn't have this many gray hairs when i last did my video <laughs> there's not too much to report here it's doing a great job it's not burning my hair that 185 or whatever that is in the middle definitely feels really nice at the temperature on my hair the only comment that i really truly have is that it just doesn't slide through as easy but it's definitely not gripping too badly at all it, it's so minor like I don't this is what I'm used to is the hair straightener so it is doing a very very good job what I also appreciate is that the temperature that I have got it on even though these are old hair straighteners I don't feel like I need them any hotter they're definitely giving me the straighten that I need without feeling like I'm completely frying my hair so I kind of just do this out of habit to be honest I don't really need to keep going through right now that's the cloud nine side beautiful job still straightens my hair still performs well still feels nice when I say it doesn't glide through as easy, it doesn't mean that it's not gliding through at all or that it's gripping. It's not doing that tuggy feeling at all. It's just not that brand new sleek, like, ooh, airy fairy, slidey widey kind of slide that straighteners do when you first buy them. But I don't mind, I'm used to this now. And it does an absolutely beautiful job. I just, again, don't, there's no need for me to change my hair straightener right now. Aside from maybe going to newer technology that might not damage my hair as much and that kind of thing. But um, for me, these are still going strong. So let's check out the uh, GHDs. Doing the exact same thing as I did on the other side. I just want to start and work my way up to the top. Interesting. <laughs> These almost feel slightly nicer on my hair than the Cloud Nines, which I didn't expect. They still don't slide through like they would any new hair straighteners or anything like that, but it's almost like the robustness of it feels nicer, which might be that the plates don't shift as much or something like that. I'm going to have to do that side by side, I think, because there is genuinely a different feel to this than the Cloud Nines. And I can't quite put my finger on what that is. I'm just quickly figure out. I've turned these off. I just want to, it's this motion that feels different. So I think the floating plates might be a little bit more floaty on the Cloud9. And that's potentially what that's, that feeling is. This just feels a lot more robust on my hair. And I can't quite explain what I mean by that. So let me just think about it. I feel like these do genuinely slide through a bit nicer, ever so slightly. Interesting. <laughs> I'm kind of learning as I go on this one as well because I've not tested these side by side at all. I thought coming into this I would know what was going on between the two because I know what I'm reaching for more often, but I could be wrong to be reaching for that one. I'll explain at the end. I feel like the GHD is giving me a straighter look to my hair and it feels like, I, how do I explain that? It feels just dead straight, like it's just been styled and, okay, let me just finish this. Okay, no, I'm definitely right. I was wrong going into this, but my thoughts right. Let me turn these off. I don't know if you can tell the difference there, but the GHD has impressed me and I'm kind of annoyed with myself on that one. Let me bring you closer. The Cloud Nines almost felt hotter, but the GHDs did the better job. I can just tell by looking at this and I, and I just don't know if, if it's easy to pick up on camera, but this has like a slight curve here and this one feels a bit more pinned straight. Also around the front of my face, this still has like a bit of a fluffiness to the ends of my hair, whereas this is just straight, completely straight. I, is that, it might be so marginal that it's not even worth worrying about for yourself, but just because I can compare and that's the point of this video, I just feel like the GHD has come out on top, which 
just so you're aware, I've been picking up the Cloud9 thinking that that was doing the better job um, and it's not. And I think that might be just out of habit from a couple of years ago where I felt like the GHD wasn't getting as hot as it needed to and the Cloud9 felt hotter. So therefore I picked up the Cloud9 thinking it would do the better job and that was just lasting longer. But and as a matter of fact, the Cloud9s did feel hotter today. The GHDs didn't, but the GHDs have given me a nicer finish and I'm completely shocked by this but also happy that I've done this video so now I know <laughs> and I can go ahead and start using my GHD again. I don't feel like this is the make or break for your decision making if you're going to, if you're looking at hair straighteners. I think it's nice to know both perform really well after 10 years. So I hope that's helpful to know like they are very good brands. I do swap between um, both of them and have over the years. I love them both. I haven't felt the need to buy more. I own cheaper ones to do reviews on like from Kmart or from Amazon and that kind of thing, but I love how long these have lasted. They've never caused me any issues and I'm really impressed with both brands. So obviously for both companies, they've improved their technology and all that kind of thing. But for me, it's really hard to shift just because I trust that these ones are gonna last a very long time. So yeah, I've been very, very lucky obviously with that. So yes, anyway, uh, yes, hope that was helpful. Links down below, leave comments down below. Thank you so much for your time and attention and I will see you in the next video.